So my Amazon order came in and I thought I would just like show you all what I got because I'm kind of excited about this one. And it's so weird, but I don't know. I get excited about this stuff. Anyway, so I got some Hoosier Farm cheese powder. This will either go into a mason jar that I'll vacuum seal or I might put it in a mylar bag. I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Or I might even just keep it like that and put it in a five-gallon bucket. Back here, I got some sour cream powder. I got buttermilk powder. These are, bags are two pounds. <laughs> I meant to only get one, but oops, I ordered two. So these, at least one of these probably will go in a Mylar bag because I did not. And I'll put it in the Mylar bag just like this. I'm not going to take it out of this bag. I'll just put this bag in the Mylar bag and put the oxygen absorber and then let it um, do its thing. So that's that. Here we got some Mexican oregano. I want to make some homemade enchilada sauce. So I was kind of waiting on this guy in order to do that. So pretty happy about that. Here is some tomato powder. Um, this is great. This is really nice. You can throw it into anything where you want a little tomato flavor, or you can kind of, you know, just add some water to make like a paste or sauce and kind of add it to stuff. So it's very handy to have, you know, if you don't have tomatoes or you run out, you just grab a scoop of this and, and you're good to go. So this will go in a mason jar that'll vacuum seal and I will use this frequently uh, grill mates this is our absolute favorite we use this on steaks and burgers and we were running out of it i'm actually able to get it cheaper on amazon than in the store so i just buy it from them oh disregard my knife that i forgot to take out some vanilla paste. Uh, I thought I would try this in lieu of vanilla extract. I'm not even sure how to use it, but I don't know. It looked really good, so I'm going to try it. I got some body of, oop, body of cilantro. We love us some cilantro, so I got some of that. And then I got some freeze-dried cilantro. Again, we love the cilantro. And here, I forgot to open this package, but this is, uh, I'm gonna have to see it through here. This is freeze-dried garlic. It's just like little chunks of garlic that um, are freeze-dried. I like freeze-dried versus uh, dehydrated. They're different ways of preserving, but freeze-dried tastes more like the item when it's reconstituted. Sorry about Gunner. He's kicking around a bucket and it's making so much noise. And he obviously doesn't understand. I am busy right now. Some emergency blankets. These were super cheap. I think it was like eight bucks and I'll put a couple in. We have a, we have a Backpack in the car that kind of has like emergency stuff. So I'll probably put a couple in there and then we'll just put a couple downstairs This is <laughs> now he's barking at the cilantro What are you doing is that cilantro freaking you out See if you're next You get that cilantro Oh my god, this dog. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Stop it. Okay. So, <laughs> this dog, I swear. This is just, I, I can't even, like, get out of here. I'm just being ridiculous. Oh, okay. So, here we go. This is um, instant milk, or powdered milk. So, I got a six-pack of this. We have a lot of powdered milk, but you can never have too much. And it'll last way longer than that little Best Buy date down there. Especially if you put it in like mylar or, you know, put the cans in a food grade bucket. I am going to, I'm going to open like one of these lids and see if it's, um, 
like canned and not just like one of them tear off lids done. I might actually leave it like this because then those are actually kind of better than putting in mylar. But if that's, if it's just like an easy peel off, like, you know, very thin metal, then I will definitely take it out of here and put it in mylar. And speaking of which, I got a new pack of one gallon mylars and it came, I usually buy them together. I buy it with the oxygen absorbers. I don't really like this one because they put them all in a giant package. And when, and when you open this, like it'll start immediately activating these things. And so I'm going to have to essentially open this, shove them all in a, a mason jar and seal it and then just take out what I need. So I, I was disappointed. I'm used to seeing them in like packs of five or 10. So this was not, and you could see, I, I always put this in the jar with my oxygen absorbers. So that's when you know that it's um, sealed and they're still good. So yeah, this was a disappointment. I think this is like 50. So this is a bummer. I'm not happy about how that this was packaged. But anyway, that's what you get for going with a cheaper option, I guess. And then I got this little folding camp girl. It has little legs and you just set it over a campfire. So you could put like a pot and st or um, stuff and cook on it. So it was like, I think it was, it was under $20. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was pretty affordable. And I don't know. I just thought it was cool to buy. So I bought it. We don't have one. So anyway, there's my little hole. I'm pretty happy this week. I'll be at some point, maybe this weekend. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to put in my lar. Um, I ran out of the gallon bags that I like to use. That's why I bought those guys. And I have some stuff downstairs that I just have in buckets that I need to put in mylar. So I will be doing a video packaging my stuff into mylar and putting in the oxygen absorbers. I'll give some info about like how many oxygen absorbers, absorbers per bag, per size bag, you know, talk about the different types of mylar. And, you know, so it should be a pretty good video. But at any rate, this was kind of a impromptu little video that Gunner completely crashed. But it was kind of not in a bad way. So anyway, have a great rest of your day.